Hello! In this video I'm going to show you the basics for using Alice and Alice Maps. Maps is a web-based weather model and real-time weather data viewer. Maps is also compatible with many mobile devices. After you have purchased Maps and are logged into your Alice and Alice account, select the Maps button located in the bottom left corner of your screen. This will take you to your Maps customizations page. This will allow you to set default views, base layers, display settings, and settings for your drawing tools. Once you have these customizations to your liking, select Proceed to Maps. If you have a custom location set, Maps will open accordingly. If not, it will open to a default view of the lower 48. To pull up the menu, simply select the menu button in the top right hand corner. For this example, we will be using the NAM model with 3 hour precipitation by type for one overlay and the 10 meter wind contour lines as another overlay. Now the difference between the R and the C is simply the R stands for raster image and the C stands for contour lines. However, whenever you're viewing any wind overlays, you can always assume the C will stand for wind barbs. The up and down arrows will allow you to control which overlays you would like on top and which overlays you would like on bottom. There is not a maximum number of overlays you can have loaded at once. To exit out of the menu, simply select the X button in the top right hand corner of your screen. The buttons in the top left hand corner of your screen will allow you to zoom in. You can even lock the area you are zoomed in on so it will not move on you. You can save the display set you are currently on. And these are your drawing tools. The drawing tools will be covered in a later guide. Now, sometimes on the zero hour, the initiation hour, some of the overlays you have selected will not have any data. Simply move to the next forecast hour and that data should appear. If you want to minimize the forecast HUD to allow for more screen room on your screen, you can either do the two arrows and this will minimize it to show only limited information or you can select the minimize button or the straight line to get rid of it completely. To pull it back up, just open the menu and select the plus sign next to the product you are viewing. Now if you want to start over and let's say you want to view real time data, select the X in the top right hand corner of the forecast HUD, reopen the menu. Select real time data. Let's pull up precipitation typed radar. And current frontal positions. You are now ready to use maps. If you ever have any questions about maps, please do not hesitate to send our support team an email. Also remember to follow us on social media platforms for updates on new features. Thank you for watching and stay safe.